Isaac Newton realized this 300 plus years ago. Perfect isotropy is incompatible with our existence because right. we don't see perfection wherever we look. We are we also know that in, that there's clumps of of dark matter. Because we know that we, right. we know. The question's at what is that significant of? And it's basically related to the fact that we formed in a region where there was an excess of dark matter. Right. Where did that excess of dark matter know where to coagulate though? That's where inflation comes. Because all fields, all quantum fields have tiny fluctuations. They are not isotropic either. Quantum right. physics enabled this universe. That's, That's right. right. We are quantum fluctuation. We yes. are the product of quantum. If inflation's right, we shouldn't presuppose that it is. We're right. looking to see if there if is or not. Right. Then... So that those pools of dark matter knew where to coagulate because of the fluctuations in the quantum so field. So now these fluctuations, are they disruptions in the field itself that create something pops out of the field? And yes. that's the so the universe itself is it just one big field? <laughs> According to some that the that the universe is in a particular instantiation of these conditions of our quantum field in what's called the multiverse. When we were kids, there was just a universe, right? right. Now there's a multiverse, which some say should be more encompassing. Just as we know we're just one star, one planet, there's one many, many billions of galaxies. There could be trillions or an infinite number of universes, but where do they inhabit? They inhabit the multiverse. The multiverse is the collection of all points in four-dimensional space-time, and maybe higher space-time, that could- Higher dimensions. Ever will mm -hmm. exist. 